It's not, it's, it's just not the same. But I'm 99% sure Mother Instinct. Let's see if the Mother Instinct is right. What's up? Ah! Maga But man, your skin is really sensitive. You're like mama, you know? We have like rich skin type. Oh, here you are, face to face in this trashy bar. Another glass and I am going places makes me laugh. Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel, guys. Happy Wednesday morning. <laughs> Hope you guys are doing good. It is the first vlog that I am doing ever since we got back from our vacation, which was on Saturday. I did try to vlog on Monday, but it was a very failed vlog. Monday was actually your girl's birthday, 19th of July. I turned a big 33 years old, so I cannot believe it. So I cannot believe that I am 33 years old. Like when we think about it, I met Marco when he was 33. Anyways, I feel that 33 years old is just an age where you're really, you know, it kind of hits you that, yeah, you are getting there, you're getting old. And I never really imagined myself to be 33 years old, which I know is kind of like dramatic to think about. How was my birthday? The reason why I didn't vlog on my birthday, actually guys, I will tell you that I did try to vlog on my birthday, but it was just a complete failed vlog. I don't know what happened. I just felt really, really, really down on my birthday. And I noticed that the past few years, it's always been like that, like ever since. And it's not because, you know, um, of Marco or anything like that. I noticed that I have been extremely, you know, I guess emotional and kind of sad during my birthday ever since my mom passed away. So my mom passed away 10 days before my birthday, which was the 9th of July. We had the wake up until the 20th of July. So you guys can imagine my sweet 16th birthday. It was a really really sweet 16th birthday yeah and ever since then i've just been really emotional on my birthday and i did share with you guys on instagram like is it just me or the older you get the more lonelier and the more depressing it gets as you get a year older i feel like it's just me but there are some people who commented that yes it's true you're right especially when you have a kid i'm still very blessed i mean i have my husband my loving husband i have my kids i mean what more can i ask for i live in italy and another thing i guess that kind of depresses me in a way and maybe I don't know. I don't want to compare, but here I go. I'm going to compare anyways. Is the fact that I just feel that birthdays are more, how do you say it? Just more felt in the Philippines than here in Italy. It's not, it's, it's just not the same. Maybe it's because I was around my co-workers and it would just be happier, I guess. And you know, afterwards we would go to like videoke, karaoke, we would have food. And I don't know if it's the same you know, thing till now. Maybe it's because I am older, maybe because we were young before, but I don't think so even because I still remember like my 29 years, 30 years, 28 years, I would, was with my co-workers and it was fun. Not like a party, like I'm not asking for like a big party or anything. It was just different. But you know, that is completely okay. I'm not complaining. I don't want to sound like I'm complaining. I know I'm sounding like I'm complaining once again, but the thing is you can't really you know, can't really help but to compare. And that's how it's always been with birthdays here in Italy. Now, I don't know, you know, maybe it's different. If you have friends, maybe that's the reason why. Maybe because we don't really have friends around us. But yeah, I guess just that's just how it is, I guess. Anyways, it is currently 9.27. Marco is in here, he's getting a haircut. And I am about to edit our day. I think it's day five. Day five of our vacation, which I am so excited to share with you guys because I don't know, it's just something different because you know, we've always been inside this house and my vlogs have always been inside the house. Going somewhere different is a really good thing, especially when it comes to these vlogs. And I'm gonna go edit that because our little Alex is sleeping right now. He's currently sleeping in his crib. I don't know why I say that. Sometimes you just blab things out, but yeah, he's sleeping right now. My nails are disgusting. These are still my summer. Okay, it doesn't wanna focus, but yeah, there we go. So yeah, my nails are kind of getting chipped and everything. And I did ask Mark, I actually want to get my nails done. Would have to find a nice nail salon here. That's something that I need to ask my mother-in-law. I'm going to continue editing this video, guys, while Alex is still sleeping. So we will chit-chat later.
Compared to this, yuck. It's like a shoe. And then we got this. What's up, buddy? In yes. <laughs> wow, that's a nice friend. <laughs> What's up? What's up? Maga bellit, sir. Maga bellit. What's up? Good afternoon, guys. We are on our way. I didn't update you guys a while ago. Alex has a dermatologist. Huh? Dermatologist. Derm appointment today. When we were at the beach, I told you guys that he had these like red marks on his body he had some on his neck and his arms and his back and so we're just gonna have that checked maybe it's just something to do with the sun you know because his skin is really sensitive so yeah we just decided to have that checked Pedia also said that it could be or it looks like psoriasis psoriasis yeah. I don't think it's psoriasis though because yeah me either because it's just on his arm and back and psoriasis I know is like usually on the skull yeah, but on the legs as well so I don't think it's that anyways I'm vlogging with my phone and bring my camera today Let's say hello. Okay. Hello. Hi, but it is a nice day. It's not too hot, so which is good. But I'm 99% sure mother instinct. Let's see if the mother instinct is right. But it's just really to the sun. We'll see. Alex? Is it Alex? It's a little Alex looking at the camera. Just wanted to update you guys as to what happened. You know, we went to the dermatologist as I told you guys. We actually had to wait for like a maximum of I guess 30 minutes because there were a lot of people there as well. And so we went in and the dermatologist was actually really, really young. He's probably me and Marcus A. Well, really, really young Pelica. To be like a dermatologist at that age is kind of like an achievement, you know? He was able to check Alex. I'll show you guys a video of Alex when he had everything because right now you don't see it. He had a lot of these red things on his like on his chest right here and his arms the skin is really really thin like it's so thin that there's, there's almost no protection like a protected layer that's why when he gets a lot of sun or when he sweats he gets all these red things so he prescribed us a lot of like creams to put on it has been a few days since i did that vlog and i just wanted to show you guys how alex is doing right now are you going buddy because i noticed such a big difference like when we put this cream the next day it was almost cleared and i guess it is normal for babies to have a really really thin skin or really sensitive skin because they're babies and they're like not us for them it's just really really a sensitive time do you want to be part of the camera okay there we go so these creams are something that we put on every day on Alex. So this is the first cream that we put on him. This is just, you know, a normal body cream, but it is for dry people. <laughs> for dry people. For dry skin control sensations of irritation for newborn children and adults so i can actually use this as well if i have these itchy rashes on myself so this one aquaphor this is kind of like a spray type and when you spray it on it is kind of oilier than the cream but it works like a cream it's like a cream as well but it's just oilier and his dermatologist said that don't use the oily one when it's like really hot outside because you know when it's hot and you put something oily it just doesn't feel good and the last would be the cortisol that i was talking about so this one marco says that this is actually only used for adults but his derma prescribed it this is something that people use here i think it's like an anti inflammatory so i think this is the reason why his neck really really cleared up so quickly like that like the next day when we put this on or after putting this on all the redness was just gone it was like a miracle so this is the arm that alex had a lot of red spots in it you guys can see that it's like completely gone he has a little bit of mark here but it's completely gone he also had some on his back completely gone as well and he also had them on his chest right here but it's also gone so this has really really worked wonders it's really helped alex he actually told us to put this on for two weeks but the thing is since it's already better i think we're only going to do one week of cortisol in the cream we don't want his skin to really seep in all this anti-inflammatory which he doesn't need that much anymore since his skin is really cleared up i guess he's just a very very sensitive baby you're a very sensitive baby do you know that another thing that was prescribed is one liter of soap so he has a different type of body soap it smells 
really really good and it's for sensitive skin i guess so he's just that type of baby like my kids in the philippines never experience any of it but then i guess you know alex is whiter than them but man your skin is really sensitive you're like mama you know we have like rich skin type <laughs> you guys do not know how expensive it it is it was like 80 euros i'll round it up it was like 75 77 euros rounding it up to 80 euros for four types of creams and body soap is just unbelievable what are you doing so that is the update from our appointment um i wanted to update you guys because you know that was the vlog that i didn't get to update you guys on buddy are you gonna let mama vlog or do you want to be part of the show so I guess let's do a quick baby update, right? So Alex turned five months on the 18th, 18th of July. So it's been almost, I guess, what's the date today? I don't even know, but it's been almost a week and a half that's gone by. To be honest, I'm quite confused as to when we should be doing these baby updates because I feel that I should be doing it at the end of that, at the end of the month so that we have all the things that he can do at the end of the month. But I haven't been doing them that way. I've been doing them like as soon as he hits like five months, three months, four months, just been updating you guys but yeah but for right now what i'll tell you guys is alex did start to crawl and i've been uploading videos on instagram on how he crawls so he doesn't really crawl crawl yet like not the regular crawl he's more of like a worm crawl so he goes like this he has a button ear and then he just crawl. like that like that that's what Good job, buddy. So yeah, that's how he crawls for now. And he can really get to things. And he just moves around the bed so much that, um, excuse your forehead. We can't leave him on the bed alone anymore. And when we do, he can't see me, buddy. Watch, he's gonna, he's gonna get to you guys. He cannot be left alone on the bed anymore because he really can fall. He will reach for things. Like when he sees something, he will crawl like a worm to it and he will reach it. That's one of the milestones that he's already reached. Another thing is this guy shrieks a lot. He goes like, ah! He's been having new sounds where he's like, he gets bored, he's like <gasps> Kind of annoys me in a way because I feel like he's having a hard time breathing But he's actually not, he just wants attention So that's one thing when he gets bored, he does these weird sounds In terms of sleep, um, I can't say that Alex has been sleeping through the night There are times when he sleeps like 6 hours straight Which is something that I'm very very thankful for Like last night, he slept from 9pm till 4am which is amazing There was one point where I had to wake up to check if he was okay because i'm like there's something wrong here because he would wake up every like four hours to feed him sleeping on the bed is a no-no anymore obviously because he can just literally he can roll off the bed and our bed is pretty high it's not like low bed it's a pretty high bed so if he falls definitely break something because it's a pretty high bed kind of regret now to have because we really didn't expect to have a baby I'm not trying to hurt your feelings or anything, okay? But we didn't really expect to have a baby the time when we purchased this bed, so. And I think that's pretty much it in regards to his update, our baby update for now. If there is anything else that he can achieve already, I will definitely tell you guys, um, but that's it for now. If you guys haven't subscribed, do not forget to click on that subscribe button and also the like button, guys. It's very, very important for us so that this video can reach out to other people. That's it for this video, guys. Guys, hope you guys enjoyed it and we will see you on the next one. Bye. Say goodbye, buddy. Bye. Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you, you're making me wrong.